In today's video, I'm going to show you a bunch of different websites you can go to to find free CNC project files so you can get started with your new CNC machine right away. I get asked all the time uh, by new CNC customers, uh, you know, where they can go to get some files to uh, use on their machine while they're learning how to design their own files. I remember when I got my first 3D printer, uh, I, I definitely uh, fell in love with Thingiverse because it allowed me to start printing objects really quickly without having to learn how to design in 3D. So it gave me a little bit of instant gratification. Now with regards to CNC machines, uh, Thingiverse is still a good option. There are quite a few files uh, on here if you do a search for CNC. Uh, some of the projects that you'll find in here are designed for 3D printing, but they can also be converted to a 2D or a 3D uh, machining toolpath to either cut or carve. Uh, for instance, there's one here. Uh, this particular person uh, does an awful lot of, of projects that are all CNC related. So this is a, a book holder. Uh, let's see if we click on his name, uh, you can see that there's a, a wide variety of things, a bowl, car, there, there's, there's all kinds of projects that he posts online here. I think he's got 151 designs. Those are all CNC related designs. So thingiverse.com is definitely one place to go to find uh, some free project files that you could use for your CNC machine. Vetrix website, vetrix.com is another excellent place to go for some really good files uh, that you could use on your CNC. When you go to Vectrix homepage, go to Vetric community and then go down to free projects. And you'll see there's a bunch of projects in here that they have their free trial projects. They have tips and tricks, uh, projects from partners, projects of the month. Uh, and then they have the new in the labs projects that they're doing. So for something like this, what's kind of cool is when you go to that, there's a, a video that accompanies it to explain how it was designed. There's a project sheet that tells you uh, a lot about that particular project. And you can even uh, download the project files in Vetric. So that saves a lot of time. And these files are really, really good to use for learning because the file is already set up and optimized to run the CNC machine properly. Uh, so if you want to learn how to do something complex, then you can actually see how the tool pass and how the vectors are all laid out in, um, in VCARV and, and, or Cut2D. And I think this is a great, uh, great resource to use when you're learning um, CNC and you want to try to find some things uh, that you can cut out right away. Another good website is instructables.com. Uh, I go here a lot. I get it. I'm on their email list and every other day I get an email from them with like their top projects for the day. But if you uh, go in here and you, you type in CNC and you do a search for that, you'll find uh, CNC projects here. And there's a bunch of CNC related projects. Uh, and I think just about all of them will have a file that uh, you can download, whether it's a DXF vector or a Vectric file or Fusion 360 file. But one way or another, they, they always have some sort of a file that you can download. And they've got some really unique, cool projects here. And a lot of them have videos to accompany it that talk about what's being done and, and why. Uh, but you can see there's, there's like over 20 pages here of projects that you can view. So that's from instructables.com. Another website that we use a lot is Open Builds. So if you go to Open Builds here, this is another share website, very similar to uh, Thingiverse. But if you go under Projects and you'll you'll come to a page that'll have uh, a lot of different projects here. Some some of the projects are pretty big, like this is a outdoor shelter thing. They've got this table, which is really cool. Uh, that's adjustable. Uh, they they also rank the project as to whether it's a beginner or intermediate or a more advanced uh, type of project to work on. So they have stuff in here. Some of the things you, you know, are free. Some you, you know, you would get with the person who designed it and you can uh, purchase it. But there, it's, a, it's a really good resource to find some really unique uh, projects uh, that you can cut out on your machine. Uh, so let's see, Pinterest is another one. Uh, go to Pinterest a lot. Uh, type in free CNC project. You'll see you'll get options as free CNC project files, wood carvings, uh, projects free, DXF files free. 
uh, you'll, you'll find quite a bit on here and you know a lot of the uh, pins will take you to another website and uh, you can go there to, to download and some of them are going to be like a promo for a paid file uh, that you can get but uh, you know sometimes you may find something that is really nice and it's worth paying the four or five dollars for the file to be able to design that project but Pinterest is great. It's updated uh, daily. It's just kind of like the Instagram of, um, you know, uh, as, as uh, these types of things. I, I tend to use Pinterest a lot when I'm looking for uh, ideas or, you know, I want to see what people are doing for, for various things. So this is a, a really good resource for that. Another website to go to is uh, called cnccookbooks.com. And he's got a uh, forward slash free dash DXF dash files. And he has a bunch of free DXF files here that are categorized um, and you can, you can download them. And a lot of them are, are vector files or uh, black and whites that you can use to, for engraving or, or um, to cut out you know, specific objects like uh, line art patterns and toys and things like that. So these files here are uh, also free on his website. And uh, his newsletter is really, really good too. So I highly recommend um, signing up for uh, CNC Cookbooks newsletter because he puts out a lot of good information uh, regarding CNC on a weekly basis. Um, the last place that we go to a lot and that I recommend is actually Tools Today's website. And if you go to toolstodays.com and they've got uh, C, uh, CNC pattern directories. And what they've kind of done is, is they've categorized different project types and then they have links. So the links might go to you know, a wide variety of, uh, of, of, of other websites. So it's, it's a pretty extensive list, as you can see. Um, they've listed which projects are free and which projects are, are paid, but you can uh, go to those projects and, uh, you know, take a look and see if it's something that you want to download. Now, as I'm looking through this list, there's two other websites that I want to recommend that I, I didn't have on my initial list. Um, one of them is called designandmake.com, and uh, let's see, design and make. And what's cool about this website, uh, they have a couple of free projects. Most of the stuff on here you have to buy, but it is some really, really detailed 3D carving files that you can buy. And what's cool about it, in my opinion, is that they have these like project packs you can buy. So for instance, uh, like this African Safari. So it contains all of these individual files here that are designed in such a way that you can layer them together in uh, VCarve or Aspire and you can create a 3D, a custom 3D relief project. So you can see some various uh, things that people have done. They use the frame and they, they grab different uh, uh, art pieces and they put them in and you can readjust the, the layer and they, they give you a really cool um, project sheet that you can use and it'll explain, uh, you know, a good way to, to lay out all of the different parts and everything. So you can download them in the V3M, which is a um, Vetric compatible file. You can get them in an STL file or as a PNG. So you can choose the file when you, um, when you, when you check out, but they have I mean, a lot of different projects. And I don't know, it's just really cool to me because I've used them a lot, especially uh, when we're looking for, you know, to do a, a demo video on something. Then you want to do something creative. You know, you can grab different uh, components from various uh, packs that they have and assemble them together into one really high quality uh, 3D rendering. Um, and the last place I want to talk about here today is uh, makecnc.com. Now, makecnc.com is a really, really cool website. They have, if you go to the browse store and go under CNC laser patterns and laser patterns, you'll see they have a bunch of different categories here. But if we go to like aircraft, a lot of the stuff that they have are interlocking puzzle designs. So they're made to be cut out in 2D. Uh, so you don't need, uh, you could, if you have a uh, Vetric cut 2D or your CAM software doesn't uh, support 3D carving, you, you can find a ton of files here. And the, uh, the price is, the, they don't have really anything that's free, but their pricing is really, really uh, inexpensive. 
Um, this particular uh, airplane right here, the Bristol Bulldog, we've actually cut this out and have it on display in our demo room. Um, you know, it's six dollars, and what you get when you buy one of their uh, files is they have a full color build guide that goes along with it. It's a PDF file, and then you get the DXF files of the project based on the material thickness and then of course you can scale that depending on your specific material to any size that you want uh, this is a great resource like i said it's it's they're paid files but they're not very expensive and you know if you're looking for something uh to to get cutting really quick on your first cnc machine you really can't go wrong with a make cnc project because they they just work really well um, they're really well designed. I've done quite a few tutorial videos showing how to take a make CNC project and turn it into a, uh, a file that you can cut on your own CNC machine. So I hope you find this video interesting. I am just trying to share, you know, some of the places that uh, I recommend that people go. Uh, so if you are looking to get into a CNC or you just got one and you're not really sure where to go and you're still learning the software to design your own things, or if you just need inspiration, and that's one of the places Pinterest comes in to play. You know, if you can type in a keyword of something you're looking for, if you're looking for a shelf or, uh, you know, a knife rack or bottle holder or something like that, you can get at least get some ideas as different things that people do and maybe kind of take that idea and customize it to be your own. So I hope you find this useful. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit like and uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so and you'll be notified every time we drop a new video.